I've woken up early so if you guys can see that I am like a little bit swollen that's because of that I literally just woke up like five minutes ago this is like the fourth time I'm filming this video the first time I had like about six books and I was gonna title it like some recent book mail that I received I filmed it but I decided not to post it a week went by and the six books became like about 10 11 books and then I filmed that as well and I decided not to post that as well you get the pattern right so now we have it's been like over uh it's been over like three weeks and quite a lot of books i have like two stacks over here right now I have 20 books right now the only thing i'm proud of myself right now is that literally out of these 20 only five books i have bought myself the rest of the books were sent to me by the publishers and i also have a few gifts so shout out to all the publishers who sent me these books and i want to say thank you to you guys because if you guys were not watching this video or if you guys were not watching like any of my videos i would not be getting these free books from the publishers so yeah i'm just feeling very grateful about that so i'm gonna start off with the books that i myself bought so first up we have is the Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. I got this book from Solanki Booksellers in Pune Camp. I've not been there in a while. Like I've not been there. Oh my God, it's been like almost a month. And this is one of like the most popular thriller books by a really popular thriller writer. Like Lisa Jewell is like a really big name in the whole mystery thriller space. A lot of this book sounds very interesting. It is set in London's fashionable Chelsea district. There is a house in there. There is a baby who is lying in a cot like she's well she's well fed and cared for and she's just waiting for someone to come and pick her up but the thing is there are three dead bodies in the kitchen and they've been dead for days and there is and the whole mystery of this book is like who has been taking care of the baby so i am really excited about this and that's on that i'll talk a lot more about lisa jewel up next is oh my god i am so excited about this book like one night my friend from bookstagram swati she messaged me and told me that if we were villains by emil rio it was on sale so i went and just checked it i did not want to buy it i just wanted to share the link on the stories and i went to my wish list and you won't believe what i found for what price I've never checked out when I'm online shopping so quickly than this. I have Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. That too in the US cover and it is a hard cover. This normally retails for about 1500 bucks and I just want you guys to guess how much I got it for. I'll give you guys like three seconds. Three, two, one. Did you comment it down below? I got it for 360 rupees. Oh, I had the best night's sleep that night because of this. This is the second book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. This book is very similar to the first one, except it is a bit more suspenseful and there is like a time element involved. I'm not giving you guys like a full plot line right now. I am going to pick this up very, very, very soon because I am just dying for that. I'm just dying for that. Up next we have his Exteriors by Annie Erno. Annie Erno is the Nobel Prize winner for literature in 2022 and this is considered to be one of her best novels. Now it's a very short novel so you can't say like a full length novel. This is about, this is like diary entries uh, which captures people's lives from the exteriors over here it says like she captures the feelings of the outskirts of a great city tortured chaotic lyrical and powerfully alive i got this book recommendation from jack edwards as usual he just mentioned it that he loved it and i was like off in the wish list it goes and i saw like a good price on it so i bought it and up next we have is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Yes, I'm dipping my toe into the Emily Henry literary universe. And until she actually told me like, if you want to read an Emily Henry book and you want to have like a first good experience with her, you should read Book Lovers because out of all of her books, this book has a lot of depth to it. Like I, I like reading romance books only if they have like depth to it. Like I don't, like reading romance books when they are all about just the romance and the sex and the stuff like i want the characters to feel real so she was like you will enjoy this one this has like the most depth of all of her books so i got this and i got this for like a really good deal as well i got it for like about 192 rupees which is 
crazy and this is like an original print so i've been very 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 excited about this and we have one more book just which just came in the mail today and I'm, I'm so excited about this as well we have giovanni's room by james baldwin i thought this was going to be like a normal size paperback but this is like a mini size one i got this recommendation from jack once again he loved this book last year so oh my god the font is so small I'm planning to read it for a video very, very, very soon. Next up, let's move on to the books sent to me by the publishers. First up, let's go through the books sent to me by Pan Macmillan, India. Thank you so much to the team over there for sending me these books. First up we have is In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Kloon. TJ Kloon is known to write like a cozy, comforting, like fantasy books. And I am really excited to read this. Where it says that it is inspired by the adventures of Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi and the Swiss family Robinson. The cover of it looks so pretty. Just look at it. It is very plain. I would have like really, really, really loved if there was some sort of like lamination or embossing details on it. Up next we have is another book from Olivia Blake. We have one for my enemy. This is her latest republishing. So I'm very, very, very excited. This book is like a magical witchy Romeo and Juliet set in Manhattan, in New York, basically. And this is about forbidden love, like rival families. So I'm very excited to read this. I love Olivia Blake's writing. So I'm, so I'm very excited to read this. Up next, let's move on to the book sent to me by Hashit India. First up we have is I Went to See My Father by Kyung Suk Shin. I've already read this, I've already reviewed this on the channel. I talked about it in my April wrap up. This is a family saga type of story and we follow this father who has a lot of children and we follow his life journey through the eyes of the daughter and she just is discovering about his life through letters and stuff. So it is a, like a very sad and melancholy type of book but it is written so well that it is just very like emotional so i really 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 loved it i gave it like a 4.5 stars up next we have is time shelter by yorki gospodinov literally yesterday time shelter has won the international booker prize so i'm very 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 excited to read this this is about a time shelter literally in this the main character costian he creates like this hospital where every single room is set up in like a different decade like so he goes literally it is meant for alzheimer's patients who are who have like their memories faded back to a particular decade and it is just making them live a bit easier but as the rooms become more convincing a lot of healthy minded people also start to come into the hospital to live there because it just help, it just is like a escape for them into happy times in their lives so it is like an interesting development so I am really excited to see this. This is translated from Bulgarian by Angela Rodel. I'm just excited to see how this goes because the plot is amazing. It sounds something like a heartfelt book, like a very heart touching emotional book. I don't know if you're following like one particular character or like multiple characters. Yeah, it's going to be like an emotional ride. So I'm very excited about this. And up next we have is Isaac and the Egg by Bobby Palmer. The plot of it sounds very interesting from the blurb of it. So. It is early. A young man stands on a bridge and lets out a heart-wrenching scream. From deep in the woods, something screams back. It sounds improbable, but this is how Isaac meets the egg. The two are unlikely companions, but their chance encounter will transform Isaac's life in ways he cannot yet imagine. Maybe he will finally understand why he went there that morning. Maybe he will finally find a way to tell the truth. Sometimes to get out of the woods, you have to go into them. Kind of like coming to terms with life type of novel and it's something which I always really enjoy and it has some great reviews on the covers. Next up we have is a book which came here all the way from the US which is The Complete Persepolis, the 20th anniversary edition by Marjane Satrapi. I don't know if that is how you pronounce the author name. This is a coming of age graphic novel memoir set in Iran and I've heard great things about this book and I wanted to read this and when I saw that this is there's, they are releasing like a 20th anniversary edition. I just reached out and I was expecting like the finished hardcover copy of this book, but they sent me the proof copy of the book, which is always some, which is always exciting. Like this book is not out until August, September, something like that. And I have it in my hand to read at my pleasure. And the way this book is bound is also very interesting. It is bound like a, 
laboratory project experiment book like books you used in college and school like the back is like this sheet and the front we have like this clear plastic paper and then we have the cover so it is very interesting and it's a graphic novel so i know i'm gonna fly through it next up we have five books from century books uk so i'm very 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 excited i've already read one of them and that is none of this is true by lisa jewel this is her new book coming in july 2023 and i read this i talked about this in my mystery marathon and oh my god what a wild ride this book was like this book was just so fast-paced so investing like and so creepy at the same time like i was just you guys just need to go and watch that video this. up next we have is the family remains by lisa jewel this is the sequel to the family upstairs which is the first book that i hauled today over here we follow the baby and the story and there is still a mystery which is left in the first book and then we explore this over here like mystery duologies i have not read anything like that before so i am very 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 excited and then i received a book by mistake but it was kind of on the back of my radar so i'm still very happy to have received it which is book of night by holly black holly black is the author of the cruel prince trilogy which is very popular i own it but i have not read it yet we follow charlie hall who is a thief like yeah she's a thief and she's working with glow mists they are like manip magicians who manipulate shadows and like they are like bad magicians and now she is trying to distance herself from the work she's done with them she's trying to go straight but it's not that easy when someone from her past comes in she's drawn back into the world of murders and lies and determined to survive she is up against a cast of doppelgangers mercurial billionaires the same uh, dark magicians and all of them are trying to steal a secret that will allow control of the shadow world and more and now she's just involved in all of it. I don't know if this is going to be a standalone or if this is like a series, but yeah, I will get to it sometime in the future. Up next is a book which I'm very excited about, which is The Cassandra Complex by Holly Smale. This was published just in May 2023, but I have the proof copy of it. This book sounds so interesting. It gives me kind of Eleanor Elephant vibes. So that's why I requested it. Cassandra Penelope Dankworth is a creature of habit. She likes what she likes, museums, jumpsuits, her boyfriend will, and strongly dislikes what she doesn't mess change her boss drinking out of a mug her life runs in a pleasing predictable order until now she's just been dumped she's just been fired her local cafe has run out of banana muffins then truly something unexpected happens cassie discovers that she can go back and change the past now cassie should be able to find a way to fix the life that she accidentally obliterated and with time on her side how hard can it be sounds exciting to me like i love books like these like it just kind of gives me like a rom com -y vibe even though it is not supposed to be a rom-com just something which this feels like something which will bring me a lot of comfort so that's why i'm very 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 excited to read this although i did expect it to be a little shorter and the last book that i received from century books uk is the arc for ink blood sister scribe by emma Torch. This is going to be published in July 2023. It is like a really interesting thriller. So I'm very excited to read this. This is all about like dangerous magical books. I'll just quickly explain the plot of it. For generations, the Calote family has guarded a collection of rare and dangerous books. Books that let a person walk through walls, borrow someone else's face, books of magic. Books like the one that killed Esther and Joanna's father. Now, Joanna lives alone in the woods of Vermont their library's sole protector and while her sister Esther moves between countries and jobs desperate to avoid the dangerous magic that destroyed their family. She's run as far as she can to a remote research base in Antarctica where for the first time she has found love, maybe even freedom. But when dangerous runes inked in blood begin to appear at the base, Esther realizes that she can no longer escape her family's legacy. The long separated sister must work together to unravel the secrets their parents kept hidden, secrets that span centuries and continents, secrets that could cost them their lives. 
sounds very exciting yeah so those are all of the books that the publishers have sent to me and lastly we have four books which were given to me by Anchal I recently went to Ahmedabad and I came back with a twisted ankle and a lot more books from Anchal she gifted me these books so the first up we have is Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertali and Alicia Saeed. I've heard great things about this from Ansel. Like, she's raved about this book so much. Like, she loved it so much. It is a YA romance. And she, she like, told me, like, you will love it because it has a lot of depth to it. And she also gifted me the first three books of the Heartstopper series. And I've already read all of them. Like, I read one on the train and I read one on after coming back i just love this series so much it is so cute it is so cozy it is so comforting and like i am sitting there just with a smile on my face like giggling when i read this book i was in starbucks and i was like Aah! like <laughs> i literally was like like i was praying that someone doesn't hear me laughing so much because this book series is just so cute and I can't wait to get the fourth book and read it as soon as possible. So thank you so much Anshul, I am forever indebted like who gives away like four of your own books. Like these are not books that she has extras of, these are books she just has and she gave them to me. I miss you already like I just want to be back in Ahmedabad. We literally spent time together for like six hours, seven hours and we did not stop to talk like for one minute like we were talking non-stop and yes we did film a few videos so those will be out very very soon so those are all of the books i have today and i am very very excited to read a lot of them and like not a lot of them all of them so thanks so much to the publishers once again and that is it for this video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want let's talk about the books and yeah subscribe for more videos coming very very soon Bye-bye.